die for. What? 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 Die fair. Surprisingly, we're working on the tray again. Today's painting day, so it's pretty exciting. We need to sand down the whole thing, get it primed, because aluminium um, isn't really great with Raptor. So prime it, wipe it, paint it, press it, snap it, quick, erase it, <laughs> charge it, point it, zoom it. What's that song? I don't know. Yeah, anyway. We've corked all underneath, so all the, all the basically, all the steel bits, so you can see the blobs of silicon, all underneath's been done. Um, and then we just went through it and put like drain holes so you can see that one in there There's one under here one about here one about here and a big 10 mil one here What that's gonna do is just allow like all the steel because it's all sort of joined up to just vent If I go to the beach and come back I can actually spray like rust converter stuff in there and like, you know Fish oils and all that sort of stuff to stop it from rusting but today I did buy this ko 66 which is awesome stuff It's all through the roof of the patrol, but I'm gonna go through and just basically spray all the inside because they're raw welds on the inside of them and especially here um, and on the back back of here as well. So we just go through and spray the whole thing. That's gonna protect the inside of the frame of the tray. So definitely a necessity because we sort of joined it all up. So it needs to be done. Hey, Ryan. Yes, Tom. We probably won't get it on the ute today. It'll probably be tomorrow. tomorrow. I'd imagine. We'll let it sit overnight. We still do need to, like the only two things that are sort of not drilled is these lights and the number plate. So I think, It'll be smart to drill them now and then we can um, paint it all at once. Let's get cracking. Time for some knockout. Start the timer, <laughs> Oh, bums itchy. Oh. <laughs> All through. Are you done? <laughs> Trying to bloody make YouTube hits here, mate. Look at all that. That dries like, dries like tar. It's been dripping out of every hole that we sprayed it in. We laid it up so it, it basically ran all through the headboard. So we're gonna have no dramas with rust, I don't think. So it's actually time to sand it. We obviously need to basically what they call key the whole thing. So just rough it all back so the paint has something to adhere to. Then it's uh, party time, baby. Anyway, the guards and everything need to be done. So without further ado, let's get some sanding done. And start the time lapse! <laughs> <laughs> Smoko break. Simply cheese. What the hell is that? Ham <laughs> cheese plus Italian sausage. Oh, uh -huh. Loves an Italian sausage. Is that what yours is as well? Yup. Do you like Italian sausage? I love any sausage. All right, all the sanding is done. Every single place that paint is gonna hit except for underneath, all sanded back. It's really important to um, actually sand the aluminium like as much as possible because, yeah, I've already explained it, haven't I? I think, yeah. Raptor doesn't like aluminium, but anyway, we are ready to wipe down. Still got to sand these mud guards, but the tray is ready to be wiped down, um, and then we can just wheel it out the back, start setting up the um, the makeshift paint booth, and start spraying it. Keen is an understatement. Um, I'm really excited to get this done. It's just been, like, obviously, well, this is, I think this is the sixth episode of working on this. Try, yeah. yeah, so. It's good to get this done so we can move on to some different content and keep you guys entertained, but yeah. It is looking pretty. <laughs> Finally time to lay some primer. We're dealing with rain. It's not ideal for painting. But right now we're gonna go through, wipe over the whole tray. It's sitting at a nice height to sort of just Get our nice even spray patterns along the top here. As most of you know, we are going the Raptor. We've got some black tint, so it's just gonna be black, basically black Raptor. I am thinning it down. We are shooting through 
um, a HVLP gun or a gravity feed gun. So we're going to lay our primer with a 1.8, probably put a 2.4 in for the Raptor and that's going to get it a little bit more textured than the cab, just so it's got a little bit more protection. Right, that's the whole tray basically sanded down, wiped down, blown down, blown down again and uh, floors wet down, ready to mix up some paint, give it a spray. This paint here is just like a universal thinner but you can use it to etch which is what we're basically doing. Um, we, we probably will blow through the whole tin. It's going to look good one colour. Hey Ryan. Yes Tom. Oh look at that colour boys. You ready? Good, good trick which probably everyone would know is just pour thinners in that, shake it up just like your mum does with the tomato sauce bottle. That's actually the pasta sauce tin isn't it? Everyone knows you put a bit, oh, of, water, yeah. bit of water in oh, a pasta sauce. Oh look at the shit in the bottom of it. Yeah that's why. Shake vigorously for 30 seconds. Keen, 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 keen. Keen by salad. Yeah. Why is it red? Little shit in that. Anyway, it's still prime. <laughs> Hope you guys like this tray because me and Ryan keep telling ourselves how good of a job we've done. I mean, <laughs> it's, we? it's been a learning process, that's for sure. We, I mean, stuff's not perfect. I would have changed stuff in the future, but for our first tray, not bad. Not bad at all. So Tom, a few safety tips before we spray. Where are your glasses? I can see fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's unreal. Oh, I'll just leave it like that, I reckon. Right guys, that's spraying beautifully. It's nice and um, nice wide fan. I prefer a wide fan. Yeah. And um, it's laying down nice. It is really thin, so I'm just gonna go nice light coats until we can build up like a tack, and that way you don't get any runs. Because if you get a run, you've got to sand it back, it sucks. So the tray's all primed. Tom's just going over it again with the sander. Just give it a light scuff up before we lay the Raptor down. Especially focusing on a lot of the high yeast sort of areas. But it's coming up good. It looks man. How friggin' good does that look? Obviously Ryan just told you I've gone through and keyed I think that's a professional word that I'm using, keyed. Basically I've just- got no idea. Yeah, got no idea. But anyway, I think it's keyed. We've gone through and flattened everything off and um, pretty much that's gonna allow us to get a perfectly flat Raptor. Even though Raptor's bumpy, it doesn't really make sense. But anyway, we're doing it. Buttery smooth, eh, Ryan? Oh, it's beautiful, mate. We've gone through and just flattened off any little like air bubbles that have come out or just dry paint. That looks really good. So it's time for Raptor liner. Everyone's favorite product. You know, there's no arguments on the internet about whether this is good stuff or not. Since people arguing in Patrol Hub the other day about, don't wrap to your patrol, it looks like crap. I had to chime in and commented. Of course you did. I did. I was couldn't like, help yourself. I was like, I'm happy with mine. Couldn't, anyway. couldn't help yourself, could you? No. Right, so you guys know the jewel for Raptor. We're gonna fill it up. We're thinning it out 15%. I'm going to 2.4 tip, which is um, last time we painted the cab at the 1.8. So it's going to be a li little bit thicker and we're, we're going to set the pressure to get the, um, the texture right, I guess. And yeah, we just got to play with that for a bit. We're going to mix it up now. I'm not going to record that. If you want to see it mixed up, go to the pain and the trial video because um, we did it there and it was real confusing. So we're going to try to work it all out again. Anyway, best shit on the planet is about to get on that tray. All right, boys, it's time. That's a black. 
black looking raptor. Very black, good, isn't it? Good mixing skills, mate. Thanks, mate. You're yeah, natural. All right, I right. baked for a lot of years as a kid. <laughs> you were baked. <laughs> All right, let's get this tray black. Tom, show about your new superior engineering shirt. Yeah, thanks, superior, for hooking us up. Sorry, I stuffed your shirt up. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, but sorry. I personally recommend need more texture. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I reckon that's very Probably hard to see on camera. It is very hard to see on camera. So I'm probably not telling you guys anything, but it's really important that when me and Ryan paint, that we sort of try and keep the same distance away, which I think we're doing pretty well, because that's like distance actually affects texture with Raptor. Good point Ryan just had is, that your speed is obviously needs to be very consistent and his needs to be consistent with mine because we're both painting it so I'm so keen to see the final product. We'll see you guys when the first coat's done. So Ryan, on a scale of 1 to 10 before they see the tray, what's your thoughts on it? Oh, it looks pretty unreal for a couple of amateurs. I'd probably give it an 11. 11? Damn, Daniel! Look at that, boys. It's really hard not to get the streaks with Raptor. Um, it might look worse on camera, but like, because it's such a big flat panel, it's really, really hard not to get those streaks, but I think we did really well. Like. That's sort of like what I'm seeing in the lens, that looks great there. When you come up, you can see like little shiny bits, but it could be where the light's hitting it. It could, could be, be a streak. Yeah, it could be parts that aren't flashed off yet, but what we did, and massive, massive shout out to Ryan for doing it because we would have pulled out into the light and just realized that we missed heaps, but a really good idea is to just get a little torch. We just ran around on our last couple of tubs and just went up like this. Honestly, we hit parts, eh, Ryan, that were just not even painted. Yeah. Yeah, so. Parts that you don't realize. Yeah. Yeah, because we're painting from like here and it's black, you just, like some stuff looks so shadowed, but we just went right around, checking it out with a all torch. The, all the nooks and crannies in. Yeah. The welds that were missed, but the rest of it was painted. And... and we got the chassis rail done, just on the outer edge and all the mounts done. So we didn't get really underneath, but our plan is, Basically what we'll do is get a blanket, lay it on its headboard at one point, flip it upside down and just go, go to town with some rattle cans underneath. But the main thing is the four litres of Raptor covered the whole tray. So if you're wondering, if you're building a two metre tray, four litres of Raptor on the dot, eh? At least, yeah. Yeah. Even a bit more would have been nice. Yeah, we didn't worry. Like you can see how blotchy that is. We just filled these little corner bits here just because that's the only part that you actually see with the, um, with the tray on the car so yeah we just made sure like last run was like a bit, bit of a texture run we just sort of sat sat a fair way back and just went right across all the panels right across all the parts that you see our um sicker flex joins 
look absolutely fresh. I mean, yeah, mint. Those welds I didn't. Well. We stick it around those welds. Yeah, we stick it the welds. Look at that. It just looks like a factory weld. But, boys, it looks really good. You can see how flat the panel is with that sicker. Like, you can't even tell that it's there. Like, there is some spots. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you 100%. There is some spots that aren't that great, but it's only really two spots that are like that. The back of the tray come up a treat as well. We did drill the holes for the um, number plate light and the number plate itself, so that way it's all painted steel under there. But yeah, even look at that sick of flex drawing. How good does that look? Go? Yeah, it looks mean, though. Like, you literally can't even tell. You can just see a seam up the center. Nothing major. For a couple of rookies. I mean, I, I personally would pay about $25,000 for this tray. Yeah. Personally. 32 and a half, I think it's worth it. Even though I don't drink, we've actually, well, I don't drink much, but we've got a six pack on the way, so we're gonna sit down, because it's New Year's, uh, it's New Year's Day, so we're gonna enjoy New a couple. Year's Eve, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's New Year's Eve, I lost track. But yeah, we're gonna sit down, have some beers, let it sort of dry off, and we might actually, in this video, lift it onto the ute, put the lights in it, and maybe just put two or three bolts in it, and then it's basically done. It's just, we'll screw the mud guards up. It's actually like, it's only been like an hour, and it's touch dry, but you don't want to put too much pressure on the paint just in case you put a fingerprint in it. But TBH, LOL, it's mint. It's mint. It's mint. It's mint. Like literally Superior gave me this shirt yesterday and it's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and show us your new Ryan Live shirt. We'll go, go to that Mexican That's mint if you'll pardon the pun. That shirt is great, you know. Isn't it? Holy crap, that looks so different. Holy crap. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, covering up while I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, so you're telling me you put your blood, sweat and beers into this? I did, into mate. This I did. Bloody hell. Everything I had. The tray is bolted down. It looks Where's unreal. Where's your beer? There it is. It honestly looks unreal. Like I'm, I'm literally blown away with how good it looks. It's crazy how much a colour can change something, but we're about to screw the mud guards up. Very delicate process after some fresh paint. Right? Yeah, that's sick. With the number plate light, that looks sick. That's fat.
can't believe it. It's actually so sick. So happy with the finish on it. Like, you guys can tell. But that is minty. Just a little bit rougher than the cab. You can see here, actually. There. Cab smooth. A little bit rough. Not bad, eh? Not bad. So, the lights are all wired up. Do still, I like, we're not pushing them in too hard because obviously it's fresh paint. So, still got to sort of settle them. Um, we've drilled all the holes for the, the, what do you call that? A number plate light and the number plate itself. So, we still got to obviously do a couple little things. That's for the number plate there. So, we've got to sort of do some more wiring and then mount this. But, in all in all, should be driving. Oh, we've got to do mud flaps too. So, some long boy mud flaps. But, should be driving this thing on Saturday or Sunday. Today is Thursday. So you gotta let the Raptor cure for about three days. And cause it's raining, like it can't get wet for three days. So that's fine anyway. Looks crazy. Five episodes, six episodes, whatever it's been, all leading to this and pretty stoked with it. So thanks Ryan, heaps for helping. Thanks Monish. No, <laughs> you did it. You did help heaps. And Jesse's not here, but shout out to Jesse for helping as well. Appreciate all the help and the support and hope everyone likes it because I love it. I think it looks fat. I think the, the number plate like sort of coming down there really tied it off. I think it looks 10 times better than what it did. But when the suspension comes too, it's going to look, I mean, half the suspension sitting up there, but when the rest of it comes, it'll look mint. And at the moment, I'm just trying to sort out what wheels to put on it. I mean, these are great, but I think I want some nice alley wheels. And um, yeah, so we're sort sort of all talking about that at the moment do the outro please ryan what are we gonna say just say thanks for watching thanks everyone for watching uh like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> see you blokes <laughs>